What is up everybody? Yes, first of all, um, my hair looks like this now. <laughs> it's funny, I've been kind of hiding it in the past few videos because I thought I should do like a dramatic reveal. And then today's video came around and I was like, F it, it's time. And honestly, it's been a kind of interesting month for content. I sort of started the month with a plan and then that plan got derailed by feelings. And then those feelings kind of continued to grow and snowball and now here we are. So if you haven't already guessed it, I'm gonna be making a bit more Pride Month content. I think one of the reasons that I sort of struggle with Pride Month every year is that I'm pretty private about myself generally. I know like deeply that as I say that I'm filming a video which I'm going to put on YouTube about my life. So some of you are probably like, that's a lie. But as I've been making content during Pride Month, I've sort of realized that because I'm a private person, I don't often create space or chances for myself to celebrate certain parts of my identity. What I thought I could do today is I am going to throw myself a gender reveal party and you're all invited. <laughs> so that's why we're outside today. We're on the move. I'm headed to the party store. I'm headed to the supermarket. I'm gonna get everything I need for the perfect gender reveal party. Then we're gonna head back here and we're gonna have a good time. Oh my God, a chipmunk just ran by. It was so cute. Right, so I wasn't gonna film anything while I was shopping because I thought it would be too much hassle in the store. But I just finished, I went to the party store. I'm in the parking lot of the grocery store and I got misgendered in the grocery store. No! This person came up to me while I was in the candy aisle and they said, I just have to tell you that I know that behind that mask is a beautiful woman. And I was like, wow, topical. Also incorrect, but uh. I mean, I was just like, I don't identify as a woman, but thank you. And I'm gonna let them do with that information what they will. All right, I'm back at home against my beautiful wall. I survived the trip. I survived the misgendering. There's only one person's opinion on my gender that matters today, and that's me. I'll be revealing the genders around here. Okay, look, I've been really tired recently. I've been really stressed. The theme of today's video is chill and enjoy. Make yourself a cup of tea. Let's chill and enjoy. I feel like I should put on some music, but I don't wanna get a copyright strike for having fun. <laughs> I think we're gonna start at the beginning a very good place to start. And that's with the um, the rainbow wall curtain. I feel like as I'm doing this, I should throw out like fun facts about gender and identity, but also <laughs> I'm really not the person to go to for that. I feel like I'm still learning so much about my own identity that I I'm like, I'm at level like one of a million. <laughs> I am trying to make it into my hair. What, leave me alone. An auspicious beginning. I don't need to know every single aspect of my gender identity in perfect concrete detail to understand and celebrate where I am now. And my understanding five years from now may be totally different and I'm chill with that. I'm, I think there's so much like beauty and value in learning and being open and being flexible. Bang, bang, bang. Oh. Perfect. Okay, I think I'm gonna try to put these on the ceiling because what could go wrong with that? Oh my gosh, nothing says party like one of these things. I mean, look at it, it's perfect. Oh, I broke one. I broke one. I've truly created art today. So if someone was to ask me when I realized that I wasn't cisgender, I'm not totally sure that I would have a clear answer for it. I definitely can say that I've never felt feminine in the way that I thought girls were supposed to. I never felt girly. I always felt a little bit outside of whatever thing I was supposed to be feeling. I felt like maybe there was something I was missing out on, like that everyone else was clued into that I wasn't. But I definitely remember being at drama school, being at Guildhall, which suffers from some really regressive, conservative, binary standards. And just kind of like running around in certain classes and at certain moments just yelling out, 
gender is a construct because I felt like I needed to say it or someone needed to acknowledge that the things we were being asked to do as men or women, it was just ridiculous and nonsensical. And I guess somewhere in there, I started asking myself the question like, well, what do I feel makes me a woman? And at some point I realized that I don't have an answer to that question that satisfies me. Okay, big ones or little ones first? My gut is saying little ones first because it'll be less work but then in terms of spacing, if I do the big ones first, I can arrange it nicer. But I kind of want to leave these for last because they look so cool. Okay, you've convinced me. We'll do little ones first. Little flowers, little flowers, little flowers. Did I do that right or did I just rip it? <laughs> I don't know that I would have come to terms with my gender identity as smoothly and as easily had we not been isolated in quarantine, I feel like I had a lot of time for self-reflection and also honestly, a break from worrying about the demands of the theater industry. During the pandemic, I really just reordered my values and was able to sort of put my career aspirations over here and say, what do I want? Not worrying about an industry or a casting director or a partner, or family, or any external viewpoint besides me. What do I want? What is going to make me the happiest and fullest expression of me? I mean, thank you all for coming to my video. How can I possibly top this moment? <laughs> Bang. <laughs> I can't tell if it looks nice or kind of ominous. Nice and kind of ominous. A gender reveal by Alfavario. <laughs> I nailed it. <laughs> what are some things that all of you love about your gender identity? I think something that I really love about my gender identity is that I had a hand in deciding what it is. It wasn't just a process of confirming something that was already there. There was a whole querying, terrifying, confusing, scary time of I have no idea what I am. And then a really beautiful time of uncovering and discovering and realizing that the more I get into this identity, the more it actually empowers and activates me to do the things that I always thought I could do and always wanted to do. I wanna break free. Perfect. I feel like this one is gonna be my favorite because of the yellow and the red, I feel like it's gonna look like the sun. It's so beautiful. I'm actually getting a little bit emotional about it. Although this has been like my entire day. I don't know what it is about today, but anytime something even remotely nice happens to me, I've been like, oh my gosh, I feel amazing. <laughs> I can't even fit the whole thing in frame when I'm standing, partially because I've framed today's shot pretty poorly, but also because it's so voluminous. The party vibes are all established. I think it's a good time to do a quick shout out to someone without whom I would not be standing here making this video today. Honestly, they are one of the most fearless, warm-hearted, courageous, kind, loving, and phenomenally talented people I've ever met in this life, and I'm beyond honored to call them my friend. Joseph Baca, I love you so much. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for being a leader and shining your light so I could follow. All right, the room looks amazing. I'm very pleased, but I don't look nearly fancy enough to be the guest of honor at my own party. I think an outfit change is in order. Yeah, that feels more like it. Hello everybody and welcome to my second ever gender reveal party. I have no memory of the first one, so did it happen? If you've been on my channel since the beginning, which was only about a year ago, you'll notice that in some of the early videos, I say, I am Elena and I am a cisgendered woman. Just how fast the night changes. There have been so many brilliant people who have empowered me 
to follow my gender expansive journey, to take some really scary steps and get closer and closer to being who I authentically feel that I am. I mean, from family members, to friends, to local activists, to people on Instagram who I have never met and may never meet ever in my entire life. If you have been a part of my journey and you know who you are, thank you so much from the bottom of my tiny little heart. <laughs> and for those of you who have showed up for the party today, or maybe tomorrow, or maybe in 10 years, welcome. I'm so happy to see you. I know that most people probably don't get to make speeches at their gender reveal parties because they are zygotes. <laughs> Man, stick around for the jokes. So I feel kind of lucky. In some ways, I feel very, very lucky. So in addition to celebrating with you today, here are some things that I wanna to continue to do and I'll invite you to do if they sound interesting. I wanna stay curious about my own gender expression. I wanna keep querying it and going deeper and learning more. I'd like to continue learning about the history of gender non-conforming folks in Western societies, but also in other societies around the world and indigenous traditions. I'd like to continue to push boundaries as a gender non-conforming artist, and I would like to encourage all you performers and artists out there to continue to advocate for trans and gender non-conforming performers' rights in your respective disciplines. And I am going to continue to build on my advocacy for gender non-conforming and trans individuals here on Long Island, in New York State, and all across America. That's my gay agenda. <laughs> okay, so I think we've reached that point of the evening, the gender reveal. I found these in the party store and I was like, I must own it. <laughs> I've been spending time looking at my own gender and things have been revealed. And although binaries are binaries, I say binaries. <laughs> That's right, I mean, I haven't been subtle. I've made a lot of art about it, but for those of you who still may be curious or still don't know, I identify as non-binary. If you're not sure what that means, I'm gonna link down to a few resources for you in the video description, but I would also just recommend that you find some non-binary creators and advocates online and listen to them and learn from them. Oftentimes people will ask me about my pronouns because I do use both they and she pronouns. I prefer my they pronouns in a lot of circles. There are some areas of my life where I still don't feel comfortable using they pronouns, or I would prefer to keep using she. But for the most part, if I've introduced myself to you and I say I use they and she pronouns in that order, please use mostly they. If a she pops in there, I won't be offended. I am going to go take like a hundred photos with this amazing background. And then I'm gonna take a bath and that's gonna be my night. <laughs> Thank you so much again for joining me today for this gender reveal video with me, Elfavario. <laughs> Sometimes I feel a bit silly about making a big deal out of these things because it's really, as I said at the beginning of the video, it's not my style. It's been really meaningful for me to speak from my own experience, to see other people live so authentically and so boldly as themselves. And I'm hopeful that one day I'll be able to do the same for people who are still learning and still questioning. I'm still questioning. I don't think I'm ever gonna stop questioning. That's it for me today. I'm gonna roll out. Um, oh yeah, if you want to send a gift off the gift registry, yes, I am accepting onesies of all styles. Uh, the child in question is 324 months and counting, so size appropriately, okay? And I will see you on Sunday for some art about milestones. Bye-bye. One of the great things about YouTube is you can just not have pants on and no one will know a thing about it. Just like me right now. <laughs>